We are back in Bethpage today for our final vlog. Eight months later, we have this masterpiece. We have officially finished this four bedroom, five bedroom? Five, was a five bedroom, now back to a four bedroom. Changed to the office. Yep. Four bedroom, three full bathrooms. Four full bathrooms. Four yeah. full bathrooms, Jesus Christ. This thing is a monster. <laughs> if you can't see, um, we're gonna basically just show you what this place turned into from the last vlog when it was basically just sheetrock and now it's ready to be moved in next week. Yeah. Let's go check a look. Let's do it. You can see huge differences. Yes. As soon as you walk in the place, I mean, staircase going upstairs, you never had it. Nope. Right? Open concept. As soon as you open the door, your eyes are just right drawn to right to the kitchen. Yep. I mean, the whole, the whole main floor now is... It's a different house. It's a different house. Yeah. So talk about, you know, what type of flooring I see, like, obviously you put a nice hardwood floor throughout, yep. you know, what kind of flooring did it end up going down? Yeah, so this is a white oak engineered wood. Uh, we went with the thicker one, just so if they want to refinish it down the line, the buyers are able to do that. Uh, but it's like a seven inch wide plank, so it really just makes the entire space feel a lot bigger. Um, and that's, like I said, beautiful pre-finished floors. Um, you know, when you have sunlight hitting it, it's just- it So this comes, this color, sanded, finished sanded. Yeah, finished already, just ready to install. Um, and because they're such wide planks, we both glue and nail them down. Uh, so that way there's no concern about any kind of shifting or, or anything like that. And then if they wanted to down the line, if they said, oh, it's getting too dirty, it's too white, they yeah. could sand it, they could stain it another yep. color because it's legit, it's real wood and they can do whatever they wanted. Yeah, the thickness on the veneer on these are, are, are so thick that actually you can sand and sta restain this about three times. Wow, all right, yeah. so solid floor. Yes. And then while we're talking about floors, I see, so you have the vents, in the flooring, so I don't see any in the ceiling, so all the forced air on the main Coming floor. Coming through the floor. Coming yeah, so the, floor. Uh, the first floor in the basement, which we'll get to, uh, both have forced air, so we married the ducts together, so we have the ceiling registers in the basement, and then on the first floor, we have it coming out of the floors. Uh, we tried to match the color as close as we could with the metal vents in here. Right. Uh, and then this is a two-zone home, so then upstairs, we'll see the, the vents in totally the ceiling. Totally separate zone. Yep. So, and then, Talk about the island choice. So yes. who chose, because this is very, very bold and loud. <laughs> so uh, my wife is uh, an interior designer uh, and she does not get enough credit, but she chose this entire kitchen. Most of the house actually, the design choices were all hers. Okay. Um, and she listened to the buyers and she really understood what they wanted as far as a kitchen design goes. Um, and she made some suggestions and you know they let her kind of run free. And as a result, we got this beautiful island that you know we have the the, the waterfalls on, uh, and then we tied the uh, the surround as well as the backsplash and the rest of the kitchen to all really make this a showstopper. The showstopper, yeah. and it's definitely the showstopper. So that's that's a nice touch that since the buyers were able to kind of pick all their finishes, you guys were able to kind of have that sit down and say, what style are you looking for? Yes. What do you really like? And be able to mold it to exactly what yeah. they kind of wanted. Yeah, it's a custom home. Yeah. Literally custom home without paying like custom prices from the from the from the exactly. get go. Yep. And for the people that didn't understand when he said waterfall, so I just wanted to explain waterfall edge. If you want to just explain like what you mean by a waterfall on the counter. Yeah. So typically uh, for most countertops, most of the time it's just going to be right on top. And then what we do is on either side or both sides. In this case, we do a waterfall edge. So you basically take the same slab, you miter it at the corners, and then you you match the seam over there, and then it comes down to the floor. Um, and that way you basically have like you know what's an entire block of quartz. Uh, on this countertop. Uh, it's great because you don't have unfinished edges on the sides of the cabinets. Uh, it's much easier to keep clean. Um, and it really just brings out, especially if you've got like a loud design like we do yeah. on this. Because it, really it, it flows, it the whole thing flows. So yes. you see on the sides, you literally it rolls right off the top, straight down. Right down, yeah, just like a waterfall. Just like a waterfall, yeah. <laughs> go figure. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely, it definitely is a nice touch and I'm sure it's not like crazy expensive to add this extra piece, but it makes a huge, it makes a big, big huge difference. difference really, yeah, it just brings the entire design out you know, especially in the kitchen where you have people that are going to be congregating all the time. Right. Uh, one of the nice things I also see you guys did, the infamous pot filler that you see more and more um, happening these days. Yep. That you never thought you needed until you have one. Yep. Yeah. So the pot filler, standard in all my builds over here. Uh, we also matched all of the <laughs> fixtures and finishes throughout the house. So everything really just wants to be, you know, very cohesive, uh, you know, matching even the colors that we did on the cabinets. You know, we didn't go with a stark white. We went with something called a linen color. Um, so it really just brings that cream, cream finish out. 
Yeah, I like it. And I see the wine fridge and everything. So no, it's a, I mean, this is going to be a great entertaining kitchen. Yes. Very, and, and functional at the same time. Yeah, and our buyers are big entertainers, so they, they're really excited. So to this, this fits what, exactly what they needed. Yep. So let's talk about the little butler's pantry, the little yes. linen closet, the uh, and uh, laundry room. All right, so talking about a laundry room, <laughs> this is the coolest laundry room I've ever seen in a house. It, the door, what's, what's the? What's it's a bomber hinge. Bomber hinge door. Awesome. You can walk back and forth like you're at a restaurant coming in and out. I think it's a super nice touch. And now you lead directly from the kitchen, access to your garage and your laundry and your pantry. So come check this out. So before we head to the left wing of the house, I'm going to call it this is a focal point, right? So yes. this is going to be your living area, your, your den, your family room. Yep. What do we got going on over here? I see a bunch of things happening. Yeah, so we uh, did electric fireplace um, over here just because uh, we wanted to have something that was both functional and easy. You didn't have to worry about cleaning uh, a flue and a chimney or anything like that. So we want the electric fireplace and then we put tile all up against this wall. Uh, and then you see that box at the top, and that's actually for all the AV stuff. So oh, our okay. buyers can throw all of you know their TV right over here. It's going to get to sit flush mount with all of the stuff right behind it. Um, and then on the left side over here, if you see, is we also have uh, what we did is fluted wall paneling, and I painted it black. Um, and that makes a really, really big difference. And if you get to see, it's kind of tied right below the kitchen countertop as well. So right. Bring, really bring that in. Yeah, so it's just a little accent, a little pop. This I think, this I really like. I've been watching a lot of people on like Instagram posting a lot of, this guy just posts like all his flush mounted TVs yeah. and they always install like these white boxes yeah. inside and you know, you don't realize until you have the cable behind it, you have a box everything. behind it. Now you hide everything right in here. Yeah, and you can have the TV sit flush mount so it's not sticking out. You don't have ugly wires, you know, sticking out of the back. It's just so much easier, so much cleaner. Yeah, super nice. This used to be one of the bedrooms. Correct. They wanted an office, so now you got nice French doors. Yep, custom French doors in here. So they open in, um, and they're gonna use this as like an office slash just formal living room type of space. You know, they might throw a couple of like nice, really nice chairs and a couch or something extra where they can hang out. Right. Um, and you know, just an additional space for them. And then it can always be converted back into a bedroom if they want to down the line. These are one of the things that, you know, people take for granted. These doors, you can't feel them in this video. They're heavy doors. Yes. Like so, like these aren't those flimsy garbage doors that are going to keep falling off the track that you close one time. Nope. Like these things have some weight to them. Yeah. So we do solid core doors, just because it should really have the weight. It's not much of an additional expense, uh, but it feels so much better. You want like the door to feel heavy, feel solid, um, and you know last. Really, that's what matters the most. So we wanted to make sure that we did that, you know, with these doors. And then as I was walking through, I see you did built-ins correct for every closet which is yep. nice because sometimes you know you gotta as soon as you move in you gotta go buy rods you gotta try to figure out what closet yep. system you want to put in there no we wanted to go full turnkey in here so all the buyers need to do is just you know move in with their stuff they can throw all their clothing right in as they move in everything is already pre-set up um, for every single closet you know in the house so it's just easy peasy easy peasy yep first bathroom that we hit on yes right so what are some things that you guys do in your bathrooms to make it look a little bit different maybe than some others or what was your design you know style that they were looking for in this one yeah so we wanted it to feel kind of like a spa sort of bathroom um so you know we did what's like the wood panelings kind of style i do um, like the tile yeah the tile and then we did a pebble floor over there as well again that kind of spa feel uh, and then we matched all the finishes throughout, uh, you know, same way. So it's all gold, gold hardware, gold on, on everything that you kind of see in here. And then I do all these half inch thick glass uh, door standard throughout as well. It's nice not having to put a curtain up or doors nope. up or anything. No, nope. we want now, it to all feel. Before we get out of the bathroom, talk about this mirror because the thing has 17 buttons yeah. on it. <laughs> so uh, this is a light up mirror. It's actually a medicine cabinet as well, if I can get it open. Uh, so we have additional storage right behind, right? And then what we have in here, they're all fog-free mirrors, right? So shaving, whatever, you know, extra foggy shower, you still want to be able to use the, the mirror. There's a button right over here. You just hit that and it, it, it defogs. Hmm. Just, it's getting too fancy these days, too fancy. <laughs> 
Again, this was just one of the main, so this is gonna be your main floor bathroom, guest, ba guest bedroom, bedroom yep. Yep. Um, kid, kid bedroom that you wanna keep away from the rest of the family. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did the, you know, built-ins again in here. Built-ins again, crown molding throughout. Yep. Every room gets crown molding. Standard, again with me, I'm not gonna nickel and dime, you know? It came out nice. Thank you. Second floor never existed. Nope, never existed. Let's go see what ended up becoming uh, upstairs. Cool. <laughs> so, upstairs, never had one. Never had ranch one. when we first bought it. Yep. Um, so the full dormer upstairs added two full bathrooms, three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Upstairs. Yep. yep. So. And then additional attic hatch above this as well. For full storage. Full storage. So let's check out the uh, the master yeah, primary start, suite these days. Yeah, I so let's start. Look, check out the primary. Nice, spacious room. Yeah. So tray ceilings. If you remember from the old video, we did tray ceilings. This is what it looks like finished. So you know, you got eight foot again over here, nine foot over here. So it really, you know, makes the room feel a lot bigger. Yeah, it's definitely a lot bigger. Than um, really nice size room. You can comfortably get a king size bed in here, as well as your nightstands on both sides, and still have plenty of space to maneuver around. Get into your bathroom. Get into your full walk-in closet. Uh, you know, wall wall for the TV, plenty of space. You know, you can do like a 70 inch TV very easily on this. <laughs> Came out super nice. So is this like the paint colors that they choose or is it more just like a blank slate for them to- Blank slate, yeah. For them to so, just decide what they want to paint it. Yep, again, my wife was like, you know what? Stark white is too white. Let's do something a little bit nicer. So this is called Chantilly Lace. A uh, bit of that cream color again. Um, and we actually did Chantilly Lace all over. So the wall, the ceiling, as well as the molding is all Chantilly Lace. It's just different sheens. Got it. So it, you know, it's still- Because the molding looks like a different color. Right, it just, you know, they work against one another, but it's still the same same color. Interesting. Yeah, it came out, came out nice. And then in the middle, if they wanted to add like a chandelier or a fan. Yep, easily able to do that. All right, talk about- Star of the show. The star of the show. So we have our, uh, our vanity, our, our master bath, our primary bathroom in here as well. So. The, uh, the double mirrors over here, same thing fog free. And if you see that little symbol over here, that's also Bluetooth. So what there's do you need speakers, a Bluetooth mirror for? <laughs> speakers behind this so you can throw music on while you're showering or getting ready uh, without having any additional like uh, speakers inside. The technology is just taken all over. Here, and it's it just controlled from your phone. So literally just playing music through your mirror. Yep, yeah, that's it. What, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, we have our toilet over here. Uh, we did the uh, covered glass over here, so it adds a little bit of privacy. Oh, um, a little frosted, like a frosted, frosted glass. glass. yep. And then we put the bidet on top of the toilet. Again, you know, standard. So bidet's on there as you well. You know what? I never used a bidet. So well, nice. Like something like the one that's attached to a toilet, right? Yeah. The whole separate toilet thing, like that's yeah, done, no, right? No. But my parents have one in Florida like that. Yep. So I'm like, they're like, just try it. So I'm like, oh, all right, whatever. It was the weirdest. I was like, not for me. <laughs> Tried it. I was like, this ain't that bad. Yeah. I was like, I, was, I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> but you know, people yeah. say it's a, uh, what's that? It's a European it's thing. It's a European right? thing, yeah. Yeah. Less toilet paper. Less toilet paper, less waste. Yeah, exactly. But does it get you as clean? No. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but so in, in this shower, so I see obviously you did like the similar, like almost not like a pebble, but like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the penny tile. The penny tile. Yeah, so we did the penny tile on the floor. Uh, buyers here, you know, blue is a favorite color. So we incorporated the blue as much as we can without it feeling overwhelming. So we have a little hint of blue. Are they the blue floor. and gold people? Uh, they are, I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we did the blue and gold in here, you know, same in the tile and then on the, uh, the edging of all the, the tile work as well. You know, wherever we could incorporate, you know, things that uh, bring joy to them, why not? And what I like in the shower is that you don't do like, you didn't do like the standard, you know, drain. No, linear drain, I think it looks better, it drains better, um, and it kind of just adds to the modern aesthetic. Yeah, so for like the people that, you know, are used to seeing the, the basic silver drain in the middle of a shower or in the front of like a bathtub, for example, yep. doing something like that, where it's a, a linear drain, it's called, it doesn't really give another, you know, does it help drain really much better or is it more just like the, the finished product look just looks the, so The finished product looks better. I mean, and the, you know, you have a little bit more uh, space for the water to actually drain out, but the aesthetic is really just, the major, the major focal point of that. Yeah, it does look, I mean, a world of difference. Yes. I mean, great size bathroom. You get a double vanity. Yeah. You see that niche that's over there. We oh, the built in space. Yeah. yeah. So, any your shaving products or your 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 uh, your toothbrush or anything else, you know, it doesn't have to sit on the counter. Uh, and it doesn't have to go into a drawer. We, we found space wherever we could. Yeah. No, it's a great size. I mean, listen. I mean, this is 
Great sized room, you have a nice walk-in closet. Huge walk-in closet. Yeah, so, yeah. I would love to, I live in Williamsburg, by the way, uh, and I'm in a, in a one bedroom condo, and I wish I had Yeah, this is, this is probably what your bedroom size is. Yeah, basically, <laughs> this would be really nice to have. <laughs> now we'll just go check out the additional two bedrooms, just to check out the size and the extra full bathroom that you have up here as well. So again, nice big room. Nice big room, tray ceilings again. And an another thing that people don't notice is the tray ceilings are great because you get to hide the ductwork. Yes. So you put the ductwork right in the, in the ceiling. Yep, without it being up all the way up top there and having to maneuver around. So, um, you know, really able to make a, a big difference. You know, the whole thing about this house, a lot of it was just maximizing uh, and making as efficient as possible the way that we use and laid, uh, laid out all the space. And what, what people don't realize, I've been looking in the bedrooms, but so every time you see the wall that we expect to put the TV, I mean the, the bed. Yes. So you figure the bed's gonna be on this wall, nightstand, nightstand, TV on this wall. Yep. The outlets on this side yep. have the USB and the USB-C charging yes. inside the outlets, which I think is more and more, people are doing more and more, I'm right. saying. Right, yeah. And everybody's just needing to charge their phone consistently. You have your phone charger, you know, whatever you're charging, they're all either going USB-A or USB-C or whatever it's called. Um, the block is done away with, so if you can still use two outlets as well as have the USB in, why not, you know? Yeah, well it's, it's to me, having that, and since it has the USB-C and USB, yeah. is great because now that they're changing over to USB-C, like I'm always, I grab one cable, and then I gotta go find the right block to connect that cable to, yep. and now you got it right, right together. Not in a house that I build. <laughs> no, that's, that's awesome. So the, this is actually buyer's choice on this one. They wanted something that would give a little bit of a pop as you come to the top of the stairs. Uh, so my wife and I, we kind of worked on seeing what we could find, and you know, this met all the, the boxes that they, were, they wanted checked off. They needed that bling bling. Yes, and we got that bling bling. <laughs> Again, so this is, now the third bedroom upstairs, another good size. I mean, for kids' rooms, I'd be, I'd be happy. This is a, yeah, this is great. Yeah, it's perfect. You know, room to grow. Room to grow, and then let's talk about the. Now this will be the third bathroom that we've seen so yes. far. Yes. So talk to me about what we had going on in uh in this one here. This is actually my favorite bathroom, just because the the colors that we ended up using. So tub bathroom, great if you have kids. You know. Um, and we did a, uh, like an antique style uh, green uh, square tile. Um, a little bit longer as far as the install goes. You have to be a lot more precise with your, your cuts and your laying out so everything is level and square. Um, but I just, you know, green is a very trendy color right now. It's got a jewel tone in it. And then we match that in the rest of the wall tile as well. So you can see hints of green. Uh, and it really is just very conducive and pleasing to the eye. Talk to me about this faucet that's going on in the bathtub yeah. here because this thing looks uh we might have to put that on <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah we had, you know tub filler over here so we really wanted to uh you know make it look modern is not one of those little pipes that just stick out something a little bit more modern and, and cleaner so we went with uh we went with this tub filler over here um perfect because it kind of has like a waterfall effect when it comes out um and it just looks beautiful all right so we've seen everything let's go check out the basement the final piece of the puzzle yes the finished basement talk to me about what's going on down here since we came down last time i don't even think we had sheetrock up no we didn't so full finished basement we have a uh, right below seven foot ceiling height uh which you know then town of oyster bay allows us to finish this basement legally uh so we you know finished the basement out great for storage or anything else that the, the buyers may eventually want to do down here um, and previously there was also a full bathroom down here. So luckily that was grandfathered in and we were able to do the full bathroom in here again. Yeah, so a couple things that I see that I like. You did the pillars, instead of having a the pillar, they're boxed out. Yes. You got crown molding on the- And the base molding at the bottom. And the base molding at the bottom. Yeah. Instead of having a pole, just really makes it a nice touch. A little bit of finishing touch, goes a long way. Tile floor in the, on the, in the basement, so. Yep, would luck for so. You know, it's, we get, get that look, but you don't have to worry about uh, if there's any ever any issues, hopefully there's not. But yeah, you know, it's easy to clean up. And then down here, as we look at the fourth bathroom, I mean, this house has bathrooms, bathrooms, and more bathrooms. More bathrooms. What was what was the uh, how did this one come about? I see again your famous uh, mirrors, <laughs> a robot mirror. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just you know, an extra full bathroom down here. So we did a standing shower. Um, great if you know you've got guests staying over and you just need additional space uh, for people to be able to shower and get ready. 
Uh, and, you know, we don't have to worry about uh, losing any hot water. If you've got four bathrooms plus a kitchen going on, we've got a very big uh, storage uh, water tank down here for the hot water. Um, and just, you know, again, great for entertaining, for sleepovers, you know, the whole nine. Yeah, literally, uh, you never have a, you never have enough bathrooms, they yeah. say. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is a, a great space. Just, you know, throw all your kid stuff down here. Yep. Yeah. It's actually yeah, great playroom for the kids. So a lot of people, you know, don't go the extra mile. I so see you went the extra mile and framed out something for the gas meter so you could, you know, close it, have a little access panel yeah. um, as well. You never really need to access the gas meter. It's usually just the utilities will need to come do that. So I don't want it to be an eyesore. Every time you come down to the basement, you guys see this ugly gas meter boxed out and then we made an access panel. So if the utilities ever need to come access it, they're easily, easily able, to. able to. And when they're not, you just, you know, put the panel right back on. And then you pulled the... Uh, the same finish from upstairs, the accent yes. to downstairs. I'm assuming this is gonna get painted as yes, well. Yes, it is, yeah. So we had some additional molding left over. We overbought, we always do just in case, you know, if there's any issues. So we had plenty extra left over. Spoke to the buyers, asked what they wanted to do with it. And they asked if we could put it in the basement. So we found a wall that it would work well on. And we threw it on there and yeah, it's just, it'll get painted. And, painted and give know, it a little accent, give it a little it. flavor. Exactly. And then I saw, so we got obviously 200 amps in this house, it's huge. Yep. Plenty of open panels to add whatever they could possibly want to add. Yep. One, Plus, of the, one of the ones that we have in here that's actually turned off right now is for a car charger. So we put an electric car charger in the garage. Uh, again, standard. You know, want to future proof as much as we can. So if they get Tesla taken car, over. Exactly. If they get an electric <laughs> car, they just got to flip that on, connect their charger, and they're good to go. That's great. So there you have it. You've just seen this gargantuan <laughs> style of house. It's absolutely huge. The finishes are fantastic. We're getting phone calls. Maybe we've got to sell another one. Who knows? But just to see where this house came from, it's, it's wild. So thank you for allowing me to help you do this, videotape it from start to finish. It's just so cool to see. Yeah. Uh, for people that want to maybe get into a custom home without paying these crazy custom prices or laying out all this money ahead of time that you know usually you would have to do if you're building it yourself i know you got some other projects going on where do you have them yeah you know what's the specs kind of looking like bedroom bathroom count so we have three coming in in levittown right now five bedroom three bath 3200 square feet um, those are all slated to be ready by this summer uh, and then we have a really, really big house in the Salisbury section of Westbury. That's going to be about 6,000 square feet, including Oof. the finished basement. That's six bedrooms, six bath, uh, pool out back, uh, and some other extras that I'm not going to reveal just yet. So if you want to get into any of these houses, pre-market, pick your finishes just like this buyer got to, give us a call. We'll be happy to show them to you. Until next time, we're out. Later.